Season's greetings everybody and welcome back to the domain. You may notice it has been snowing like crazy outside. It started yesterday in Minnesota. Once it starts snowing, it's gonna just be here for like six months. I'm all ready for it. It looks beautiful outside. So I thought I'd show that off and also show this off. This is the escape helmet and it's finally in my possession. This has been a long time coming. I was one of the first people, if not the first on YouTube to review the first three helmets and now we We've got the fourth, it's just taken so long to get here. We've got a fifth helmet on the horizon, and today I'm just gonna break this open, share what's going on in my life in December, what uh, what I've been up to. I mean, I'm recording this 30 minutes before Halo Infinite launches, so I'm ecstatic, you know, I'm so excited right now. It's the perfect energy to rip open this helmet and see what's inside. Let's get on with the show. Okay, so this is a really cool helmet. As we know, Mega have been making these micro helmets, they are so a riot, a really fun idea. Inside is a multiplayer game mode. And we don't really know what this game mode is yet. There's lots of speculation. It's called Escape and it's got this little green guy, which we'll talk about later, and also some flood tentacles, which obviously the fact that there were flood tentacles, that made the community just be ripe with speculation. I don't think the flood is returning through this helmet. I don't think that's what Mega was uh, teasing. I think they were more just using old pieces, you know? Maybe they they're using new pieces, I mean, maybe they've got the flood molds back into production and that's why they're using it in this set. Either way, I don't think this set particularly hints towards a flood game mode. I think it's more just a fun set with Mega. Perhaps we will get a flood game mode really soon, only time will tell. So we rip open that packaging, it's a little bit difficult to get off actually, and a little bit of cardboard was still just persistently inside the helmet. Really nice design here and it's cool that we got the red. This was clearly Mega's plan, I mean, it's actually a really great plan. You first release three helmets, and yeah, they released a blue one, and everybody was like, where is the red? And then every six months, you can re-release the other helmets alongside a new helmet. So these helmets come in boxes, they come in batches, and that's how they sell them to stores. So it makes sense that every time, every six months, they add a new helmet, that's a reason to restock in a store, but you can also restock all the old helmets. It's a great way to get them back into circulation every six months. I feel like the other helmets had a pull tab, like a little little, little tab to sort of pull that off, but uh, hey-ho, maybe this has changed. My other three helmets I sent back to England, and I sent them on a boat, so they are going to take about three or four months to get to England. Here we go, so this is showing off the three that are in this range now. They ditched one of the other helmets. Yeah, they ditched the yellow helmet, and now it's just green, red, blue, which is what you would expect from Halo. I mean, Halo is the green Master Chief, the military green, and then red versus is blue. It's kind of not red versus blue anymore, but I still play with the red outline when I'm going against an enemy team, so it kind of still is. Then, uh, yeah, the Last Man Standing helmet, that's probably my favorite. I mean, I love the glow-in-the-dark figures, that Gungnir is awesome. Oh, the capture the flag was also really good because the flag was translucent, and you could switch it between red and blue flags, so I did love that. Came with a trailblazer, which was awesome, and now we've got the red one. I don't know if this is like an actual game mode. Oh, is this just the figures? Yeah, okay. I remember seeing the leaks of these figures so long ago, like absolutely ages ago. Let's tear these open and see what we've got inside. Whoa, that is... Goodness me, that's a lot of pieces. 100% dissected characters. Wow, that's crazy. So we've got the yellow Spartan and the sort of white Spartan, the cream Spartan. Yes, this is the Kelly armor, sort of like the Shadows of Reach, Halo Infinite-esque Kelly. We don't know if Kelly's gonna be an infinite, but I guess at the time of recording this, again, the game comes out in 30 minutes. So by the time this has been recorded, yeah, we might already know that Kelly's an infinite. We might, think, we might know that Kelly's dead. Who knows? Oh, that's, that, that was a grim idea. I do not want blue team to be killed in infinite. I really don't want anyone to be killed outright in infinite. If they have like a noble sacrifice halfway through the game, that's how you kill a character. You don't kill a character at the start of the game like you did with Jewel and Dharma. Look at that. Wow. That's actually a really impressive looking character. That is a really nice figure. Damn, I love that cream underneath the armor and just look how many black highlights are on her chest. That is honestly very impressive. I have the 
Razorback. It arrived just the other day, but I've not built it yet, so I've not seen the sweet Kelly figure that's inside. Let's pop that in. Nice. Okay, that is actually, that might be one of my new favorite figures. This looks really, really nice. I'm very impressed. Let's finish off with her leg joints. Guys, 30 minutes until Halo Infinite. What kind of universe is that? It's been six years. We've got the game in 30 minutes. I'm premiering a video right now. It's my first target in the USA, the first time I've ever been to Target. So I premiered that video just now. It's premiering at this moment and the chat is going nuts for Halo Infinite. You know what I mean? Like everyone's so excited. It seems like this Spartan is a female, which is pretty awesome. Pop this in, the Spartan Anubis. Interesting, I, I like this uh, sort of lighter gray. It sort of contrasts the black. It could have just gone with another black set of armor, but no, this is nice. Really difficult to pop in there. Yeah, there we go. I apologize, uh, I'm filming on this like random little wooden table. I don't have a desk yet. That's on the horizon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when I do. I hope you're enjoying my video streak. I'm currently, as of the day of recording this, on a 40 day video streak. Videos every single day for 40 days and I don't intend to stop at all. Like it's very exciting. You guys have been supporting the videos so much. They're getting more views on average than they ever have done, than any of my videos ever have done. Very exciting time. Yay. Look at that. That's like a really cool sort of dark gray armor. Again, like Super impressed with these figures, super impressed. Mega's been making some awesome innovations with their armor, with the way they're presented, with the variety of colors and the way the limbs change halfway down each limb. This is really nice. This is a really awesome figure. It kind of, um, gives a redeeming factor on the half yellow figures. I know people don't like half yellow figures usually. Things like the sword base invasion, people are not all about that. I like it. And um, that Anubis is really sweet, really sweet. We'll give him the SMG and we'll give our Kelly the battle rifle. Look at them two. Not bad, man, not bad. You've outdone yourself there. They are my favorite figures from any of these helmets. They are actually, like, they are actually really impressive. Uh, I'm not, I'm not lying here. They are really nice. That gold visor and uh, a really dark gold a really dark bronze, maybe. Oh, that's like a dark silver visor. That gold works really well. That Kelly mold is awesome. I've seen some people complain they don't like the Shadows of Reach Linda that's coming out. They think the helmet's really ugly. I don't know, man. I think it's cool. And all of these little pieces make up our escape game mode. And the funny thing is we've got this piece here. When the set leaked, I mean, this is way before we'd even seen the multiplayer reveal for Halo Infinite. When this leaked, people were like, what on earth is this? Turns out this was the first ever preview of our AI, like our in-game AI that we can customize. And at the time, like I said, the multiplayer beta hadn't even come out, so people didn't even know what it was. And it's kind of cool that we got shown the AI, the artificial intelligence, before anyone else. And I don't think anyone guessed. <laughs> I don't think anyone Anyone figured it out that it was gonna be an AI. So we've got a dope little display that we're making for our AI. I'm really hoping more than, even more than the campaign almost, that we get an overhaul to the multiplayer. I really hope at the time of recording this that 343 have been holding a lot back. I'm, I'm hopeful. I don't know. I feel like 343 have been weird about this. Like at this, uh, at one point, I feel like they're being super transparent all the way through, super like honest with us. And then sometimes I'm like, they are holding something back. So I don't know. I, I can't make up my mind with 343 at this point. I know that they've been doing a great job and the campaign looks like it's going to be really awesome, but uh, I don't know where I stand. I know where I stand with Mega. <laughs> These are really great sets. I don't know, that transparent... I might remove that transparent piece so this is, this is just freestanding. I'll build it as it's meant to be built, but look at that. You can just have it freestanding on its little legs. I prefer that. And then we're building some kind of barricade. Usually when it comes to barricades with Mega Constructs, these things don't really mean anything. They're not really even based off anything. They're just the designers at Mega having a good time, you know? So I wouldn't think that we're gonna find this, particularly in any game mode, this specific barrier, but you never know. You never know. Let's see if Simon builds this wrong. Is that right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. There we go. Nice. Okay, I like it. I dig it, okay. And then, same as the other helmets, we snap this on and the back of the helmet becomes the base plate. So you insert the helmet onto there. Really clever design, always a big fan of this. And we've got our helmet to display the rest of our stuff on and to display our flood. <laughs> because yes, these are flood tentacles. Why are they in this set? I really don't know. Will we ever know? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's just Mega doing some clever marketing, you know, because any publicity is publicity, right? If Mega put the 
these little flood tentacles in the set and suddenly everyone, even like the normal Halo subreddit, will be talking about this set. So maybe, you know, you put some random flood pieces in, you get the you get the internet speculating, and then jobs are good and you've got some cool publicity. All right, so we'll pop this little AI on here. Nice, he looks really cute. And then we'll have Kelly defending her position, I guess. Defending from invaders. It doesn't show this actually being on the base, it shows it just off to the side. So that is our little escape helmet. What are they escaping from? I don't know. Is he just escaping from death? It might be the case. Either way, this is a tight little set. Not much to ring home about in terms of the build. I thought the oddball build was pretty clever. This one is more just the AI. Like, there's not much of a structure to go on this. You could just put this barricade here, and I think that, I think that does sort of elevate it a bit more in terms of uh, one diorama, like one display piece. We'll, uh, we'll put our little Kelly as uh, escaping from something. The figures excel expectations like these are some really really nice ones and the rest of the build while a bit limited the barricade is pretty dope and the AI is actually really nice thank you so much for the support guys this was another video with the domain and I'll see you in Halo Infinite